and sleeve and then we'll be going into setups and getting the collar and sleeve which we haven't really addressed too much so we should be finishing this mesocycle next Thursday if all goes to plan. So sometimes say car is playing collar and sleeve and he has got his grips. We've looked at the scenario where I have had my right leg forward sort of like in a in a headquarters position. We've looked at left leg forward. We've looked at sort of both feet in a shoot in a level together but another thing that can happen from here is you can come up against someone that just basically squats down like this and everything's tucked inside so you feel you can't get that open elbow and again this is this is a good strategy um, I have a lot of stability from this position but we want to take advantage of you have less mobility um, when you squat down like that so from our position say I got into collar and sleeve and I'm here and Carl decides to just basically squat down from this position. He's strong because um, his butt's nearly hitting the mat. He's got a low center of gravity. He's also very close to me. So the first thing I'm thinking about, that foot's coming off the bicep, and I'm gonna put it in his hip, okay? If he's really tucked, I can just put it on his arm. So the goal from here is to physically start walking back on my butt to create space. The more distance I create between me and car, the better it is for me. And now from there, I'm, I'm just basically sitting up to this position here. I'm gonna take advantage of his lack of mobility. So from there, even if, we, if I wasn't even staying in the collar and sleeve, the collar drag to the back is what I'd be doing from this position. I'd just be putting one foot on the mat and I'd be dragging car's collar to here. And I'm coming up and I'm gonna start taking the back. Keeping it in the, in, the, in the thing that we're playing, this um, collar and sleeve guard. We want to get back into playing that. So from our position, we're here, car squats down. So my foot that was on the bicep is going to find his hip. And now from there I start to walk my butt back. And then I get my back off the mat and I'm pushing with my feet. Again, if Kiar is bent over from that position and not squatting down, you know, I, I'll just come back into, into a position I can start playing the game. But let's just say when I do sit up, Kiar is still squatting down. So he's very stable from this position, but he's lacking in mobility. So from there, I'm just going to plant my foot on the mat. I'm going to keep my left foot on the hip, pull on the collar, and I just scoot my butt back. Goal is to make him take a step with either of his legs or post his hand on the mat. The minute he does, the game opens up again, we're back in the whole, our whole collar and sleeve. So it's just this movement here. And again, from that position now, there's my open elbow. I can start working on the omoplata again. So simple way of dealing with this. So from collar and sleeve, we're here. We've looked at all the scenarios, right leg forward, left leg forward, feet shoulder width apart. Now he's really squatting down. Be aware that he's very close to me. I can't do too much when my hip's so close to cars. So once he squats down, I'm gonna put that foot in his hip. I'm gonna start the shoulder walk back, and then I sit up. Okay, once I sit up from that position, now it's all about dragging him into the space, getting him to post with this, getting him to, just to getting him to open up his limbs, because cars, everything tight, he's two elbows in, nothing's really open from here. So I keep that left foot on the hip. My right, even if he's grabbing this, doesn't really matter. I put my foot on the mat. I can make him post easy, just with that collar drag and butt scooping and pulling him. The second I'm there, foot's back on the collar. I can lift my hips back into the whole triangle choke position again. Remember when we were playing this, our two main submissions was the omoplata and the triangle. So you should be constantly threatening your opponent when you're playing the game and you're just reacting to the things he does in your collar and sleeve. So one more time, don't be too complicated there. Say I'm already in collar and sleeve. Maybe I'm looking for that inside knee position. Car squats down. I've noted now he's very close to me. So I'm gonna look to get this foot on the hip. If I can't get it on his hip because he's so tucked, I'll just put it on his arm. Now I need to create space. So I butt scoot back, I still keep my grips till I've got to the point I can't go any further and then I just sit up and get my back off the mat. 
front of my foot on the mat, even if he's making the grip. Now, the Kazushi, the off balance, I want him to open things up. The second he does, my foot's up on the shoulder again. Maybe the only plot is there. Start attacking and going through the whole system again. Okay, so.